is beneficial to any organization, don't you think? Alrighty then, Sarah. I believe uh, we have to chat. I'm listening. So, are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? Um... First off, what do we know about these artifacts? Not much, but you've seen them for yourself. True. It doesn't take a lot to realize we're dealing with something extraordinary. Just what mm, that is, yes. we'll have to figure out. It's what we do. Very well. And... <clears throat> uh, not to be... I don't want this to come as belittling. But... If this is all Constellation is currently, with the exception of Barrett, who's... Off-world at the moment. Which... Wonder how we're gonna get him back. We'll probably have to fly by. Future issues. How well is Constellation known? We seem like a pretty small group. I don't know what you've heard, but I can imagine. Not too much. First of all, I think you can dismiss any stories about us no longer existing. Hmm. Mm, yeah. I don't believe in smearing our name everywhere we can. Exploring the universe, charting the unknown, that's what counts. I like Besides, that. Besides, having a little mystery gives us room to maneuver. A fixed reputation could fence us in a lot of ways. Brilliant. That's what I always talk about. You keep your options open, you tread the line, and then you're less likely to anger someone to such an extent that they become violent or very um, petty and ship you off to a moon for mining. Yeah. Um, anything else beyond just exploration? We're explorers. Humanity has always hunted for knowledge in the unknown. Truth. We just take that a little more seriously than others. Perfect. We were founded decades ago by a man named Sebastian Banks. He wanted a small group of people from all corners of the settled systems dedicated to the biggest question of all. What's out there? Money These to be made. These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. Another great secret the universe is asking us to unravel. Perfect. Well, I feel as though I have seen what I need to see here at the Lodge. Great. I think it is time for us to get out into the stars and explore. We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts oh. are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. Okay. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. Ooh. Yay. The... UC Vanguard. A volunteer force that helps defend the edges of United Colonies okay. space. They're always looking for recruits. Lots of retired veterans and dangerous professionals mixed in with part-timers who barely have a laser cannon welded to a hull. My contact is in the recruiting office, so he hears a lot about what the volunteers are up to. Alrighty. Well... I'm... excited... to, I guess, well... Learn a little bit more about the United Colonies, more than I do know, which is not a lot, because I've never really needed to. I know what they don't like, generally. But it is kind of interesting how sometimes your legwork, like on the ground, never pays off quite the way you expect it to. 
You've done this before, eh? Mm. Wise words. If we watch each other's backs, we'll be fine. But it's not just that. Sure. I want to take I've this opportunity this. to see how you handle yourself and for you to learn more about us. Okay. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. I mean, that works for me. Out of curiosity, though, what is the benefits package? You mean besides the ship, the robot, and a place to stay all rent-free? When you put it that way... We do have some funds we can disperse from time to time. Not to mention, I think we can get you a proper suit. Ooh. We're explorers. We keep a lot of equipment on hand for that purpose. So the more you work with us, the more we can share what we have. Yes. I can appreciate that. Alrighty. You. Me. And one artifact. Ideally. Could also very well be you, me, and a... A lot of traveling. And no artifact. I prefer the former to the latter. We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen. Whatever you were before, or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is Message their own received. conscience. Understood? Yep, I understand completely. Don't bring the heat to the door. Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? Okie doke. So I... Sort of thought that... We were going off world. Not a problem. You would land to school. Um, alright. Alright. We need to talk to John Tuala in Mast. Mast, Mast. Okie doke. Out of curiosity, how did you know that there was an artifact on Vectera? You can thank Barrett for that, if he's still around to thank when this is all said and done. Honestly, he took this seriously before any of us. It was at his urging that we started doing deep space scans. Okay. I will admit, it was something of a shock to see Barrett taking anything seriously. He does seem the type to make light of things, but okay. So long. Right. Um, hi, Vasco. I get. Are you not coming? I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. Uh, very. Uh, I'm assuming you'll follow. We need to go to Mast. Which my assumption is that. Right. That would make the most sense. So, we will head towards the big spire. Or mast, if you will. I think they're so clever with their their naming. They aren't all that clever. Gotta say though, it is a remarkable piece of architecture, nonetheless. Majestic and um, I guess that's kind of it. Um, right. Ooh, pardon. Did I? Oh, there's a turn there. I was gonna say, I have no idea how to get into the place, so that could be a mild problem. Of course, if I just 
you know, paid attention. I would have seen the uh package has been returned. <laughs> we have company. Hello. Good day, ma'am. You too. It's a little weird. What in the Okay, interesting. I you might want to take a look there. Weird. Um, let's not just start lockpicking stuff with our new friend in tow. Do I think that may be we need to go down and under G GPL bank GAL bank looks like yeah an A gal bank okay I'm going to assume that whatever that noise is is friendly being that it's in the middle of the city ooh we have people yes exactly it's like like when someone insults you you want to just beat the shit out of them sometimes but you don't well, not quite what I was thinking but that's actually a great example Marcus the man in the story was cruel do you know why he was cruel? Okay. You must Mr. Wells has been having brownouts all the time. His must name. finally send Except someone down there, but and deliver it not back alone. Nothing's changed. Empathy. You mean empathy? <laughs> but you say it like it's easy. Thank you. Like anyone can. That just I... love a terrible person right. who has I'm... been terrible to them. No. Yeah. Focus. Focus. We need. Evening, sir. Maybe we should stop for a moment at the memorial. You know, to pay our respects. Uh, sure. Sit, sit this. Maybe. Is this it? A f realty. Yeah. Something tells me this is not the this, memorial. Tell me how many zeros I need to have in the office. Please. I'm sorry. Sir. Excuse me. Armistice archives. Okay. A memorial. Commercial district. Um. Maybe I don't know where I am. That's commercial this way. Is the memorial this way? I mean, you brought it up for a reason. That's an embassy. I am... Maybe that? I gotta say, uh, Sarah, um... Now, this is probably... Part of that religious people. I've no idea what you meant by a memorial. It's like one of these sculptures. Never forget what the FC did. Never forget. Uh, what? Down with the FC. What's going on with the FC? What's my problem with them, really? I'm keeping the FC accountable for the terrible things they've done. The colony war was an unforgivable tragedy. Countless lives could have been spared, but the Free Star Collective was out for blood. The Free Star Collective took my father away from me. Um, yeah, okay. Bye. 
Note to self. Don't talk to randos in the streets. Um, uh, maybe this looks mildly memorial-like. Could also just be the archives. Well, we know where Mast is. That's what mostly matters. But... by the Freestar Collective's ragtag fleet, both sides decided the time had come to bring the colony war to an end. So, the two parties came together to negotiate the terms of the armistice. Fleet sizes would be capped, mechs and xeno weapons outlawed, and all research related to those fields would be kept under lock and key in their own special archive, which actually rests below our feet as we speak. And while these new restrictions transformed the settled systems overnight, entire economies were upended with the flick of a pen. Mm, they also marked they the need a little bit more pizzazz. Granted, it is later at night. So they're probably running off some either fumes or a mega load of Caffeine. You know what? It's Hot. amazing to think that this tree predates New Atlantis. That thing? Mm. And now, Can you imagine all sponsors. the changes it's seen? Sort of. Well, yes. I give up on the more. What do we have here? House Veyrune Embassy. Freestar Embassy. Armistice Archive. Do we go down? Uh, I think mast is more than likely up there. This seems to be more of a yeah transit hub. Oh yes, this is where I came into the district from. Oops. It's a lot of purple. Nothing wrong with that. Observation. Hello. Fellow citizen, hello. We can use to protect and defend the citizens of the United Colonies to the best of your abilities, and to uphold the values of the Vanguard, honor, loyalty, self-reliance in all your actions as members of the United Colonies Navy. I, I do. do. Then I'm Poor proud choice. to welcome you to the Vanguard. Now, all have your assignments. Maybe it's the right choice for them, but not for me. Um, assuming in here. Hello. Welcome to Mast. If you have an appointment, you may proceed inside. Perfect. Um, who am I looking for? Sarah's co Sarah's coming with me on my first mission. I need to speak to her contact at in the UC Vanguard. Uh, oops. Apparently. Right. See. Nope, it's definitely inside. Okay. Hello. Sarah. Good to oh, see you. Hello you. Who's your friend? Francis. Constellation's newest member. Thought I'd run from some leg work together. You uh, come over here, space you know. Explorer. Hey, well, you ever think of joining up with yes. the Vanguard? Help the United Colonies earn some credits? Even get your UC citizenship? <sighs> I'm <sighs> explain. United Colonies volunteer fleet. Independent captains enlist, get to use their own ships, and the UC provides them with sustained work and credits. And put in your time, and you're guaranteed UC citizenship and everything that comes with it. Discounts on UC goods and medical services, chance to own a place in New Atlantis. Chance. Too. Only way a foreign captain could even dream of seeing those sorts of benefits. So, you want in? Tempting, but... I have a feeling that 
I wouldn't gel well. So I think I'd pass. Whoa. Where have I heard that line before? No, oh, I say the same thing every time Joan tries to get me to re-enlist. Oh. <laughs> I surrender. Can't blame me for trying, right? All right. Here's what I've got. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. Oh. The Sol system. Which admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born and raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Ooh. Matches that description Sarah gave me. Okay. First off, let's start with basics. Who's Moara? Oh, he goes way back. I think he was recruit number 81 or something. Okay, so pretty early on. And what's the issue with the soul system? You kidding? Lowest posting request rate in the whole fleet. Only thing there the UC cares about is Mars. And no one wants to go to Mars. They want to get off Mars. Uh-huh. Not really. Answering the question, but okay. But if he's on patrol, he's very potentially putting our item at a risk. We best get over there. What? <laughs> nah. Soul system is as quiet as a coffin. It'll be mm -hmm. fine. You say that. That means it's not going to be fine. Yeah. I'm sure you two can handle it. Soul system is a lot of planets, but a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. Sidonia. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. <laughs> Where did Moara say that they found this ornament? You'll have to ask him. But Vanguard volunteers have retrieval rights if they get into a scrap. Wouldn't be surprised if he found it off of a pirate or something like that. Okay. Anything you want to disclose about Sidonia before we ship out? Yeah, bring a coloring book. You get so used to seeing red, you'll forget what blues and greens look like. Interesting. Well, a bar and a spaceport does sound pretty inviting. It's definitely a lifestyle, burning helium out there. Seeing where the stars take you. I'm serious about that recruitment offer, by the way. You just come talk to me when you're ready. UC is a good friend to have. Which, by implication, means it's a bad enemy to make. Unlikely. I'm not one for regiment. Alright. So. That means we're off to the ship, which puts us back in right. Am I okay? Well. If you don't have official business, we ask you remain in the lobby. Okay, well, I'm going to assume that we do. I'm... Okay, well, let's, let's take a look. What am I doing here? Ask about Moara in Sidonia. We need to find Vanguard Moara, who might be in possession of an artifact Last seen patrolling the soul system. So, yes, we do need to get back to the frontier. Plain and simple. So, off to the ship. I see. Uh, hello. My watch is being particularly displeased due to its insistence that the subway terminal 
or New Atlantis Transit Terminal is directly beneath Mast. So that's fair. Uh, we need to get to the shipyard. Also, well, while I'm thinking about it, there's mention of notes. Christmas Carol? No, no. Um, something. Secret outpost? Loyal to your crew, I get it, but screw that. Beg, borrow, steal, kill to get the denobla. Den Oof, that's a weird word. I or 1B. There's a secret outpost we're trying to crack. Once in a lifetime opportunity, you will regret it for the rest of your life if you don't get your ass over here. Okay. I'm going to assume... That is more than likely. Yeah, okay. Secret outpost at Denobla. High B. Alright, alright. Interesting. But we need to get to the spaceport first. I've flown across most of the settled systems in all manners of spacecraft. And yet, I still get sick on the gnat. I can appreciate that. Oh. I appreciate a good late night rain. Now we're taking off in it because it'll oh, give us I've always liked that statue. It's beautiful, isn't it? That one? Mm. Yeah. I wonder what the artist was trying to represent. That's a good question. I don't know. I'm applying for a job at Hope I don't, know. I don't know if I can handle a hollow's life. Oh. Hmm. Pardon? Sir? Wish that bartender at the viewport would stop complaining to security. I don't know what she lost, but she won't get it back by annoying us. Okay. Might have to do some uh, chatting. Security scanners, chemical sniffers. Locals. United Colonies sure isn't taking any chances. No. Yeah. A diplomatic visa? You got to be kidding me. Invoice haven't needed diplomatic visas since uh, the colony war. The law is the law, sir. Cool. Not my place. Some weirdness going on here. But in we go. Well, I hope he realizes we're getting in the ship. I'm sure, they have a warning system. Right, Captain. Where are we headed next? So weird. But we are headed to. The soul system. Which is there? So let's first. Well, first let's get to space. We need to get in in orbit. So, I would recommend strapping in, because we are taking off. I guess they don't get the message or memo that taking off requires you to please the pad. Let's slow down here for a moment. So. Go ahead. Oh. Um. Heard anything interesting? Saw someone wearing one of those NeuroAmp things the other day. <laughs> Can't believe anyone would pay Ryujin Industries a small fortune. 
fortune to let him play around in their gray matter. Yeah, I, I wouldn't like that either. Alright, well, catch you later. Not what I wanted. Okay. Got you on comms? Uh, never mind. Alright, let's get a little bit of space out here. Okay. ourselves. So we've got Mars. Let's missions Cydonia. Oh, there we are. So let's land there. Ooh, look at that. Okay. Well, I can appreciate their Spartan and seemingly manufacturing design nature, and that people may not appreciate that. There's a certain majesty to that red out there. Been a long time since I've been to Mars. Soul system doesn't get a lot of traffic. So it sounds. Bye bye. Yes, I'm going to assume that we probably would want to be suited up. So let's do that. I'm going to keep that one. And. this one. So let's go. Oh yeah, negative five degrees, no oxygen. Aha. So. Maybe... We should be careful. Let's get chlorine. Okay, interesting. Lead. Uh, ooh. Aqueous hematite. Which means. I don't know. Lead. Oh. Okay. We are headed, I guess, that way. This is a. Understandably boring place. You know. 
with how we as humans that is originated from the solar system specifically earth there. it's kind of amazing we are very ambivalent to this I would think and expect that there'd be more interest I don't know like I I just feel that this has some potential I guess maybe due to the fact that everything has to be done like in a spacesuit like there's no habitable atmosphere I can understand that but I don't know I guess it is what it is what do we got here some sort of fueling station Well, nothing I can really play with, which is fair, probably proper security. There's a bar around here? That's what Sidonia was, right? Oh, like, yeah, 300 meters away. Ooh. There's something interesting over there. Might have to, uh... A little look see after we chat with Moara. I see. We did take a rather. Oh. We did take a rather, uh. long route. Okay. Of course. A little bit too steep. I'm assuming you're following, Sarah. Okay, good. All right. This... Maybe? No? Unknown. Oh. It's a sp oh, that's right. It is a spaceport. I wonder how to land over there. Probably because there's no open landing base here. Fair. I the feeling it's up, though. Leeches in the engine. Leeches on the hull. Multiple leeches in the grab drive. Suppose that would explain the brownouts. So, what's this going to run? Um... If there are no other surprises, mid five figures. Five figures? Five? Five. Do it. I'll be at the bar. Find me when it's done. We're on it, sir. Hello. Stay clear, please. Mm -hmm. Mining colony of Cydonia. Main airlock to establish 2112 by Deimos Staryards Inc. to advance industry and security for humanity throughout the galaxy. Interesting. Building Sidonia completely underground was a clever way of keeping the city shielded from the harsh Martian landscape. And this is a smart way to do it. That would make more sense. If the city's underground, you're not going to see majesty. Perfect. Security monitoring, yeah, that's to be expected. Hours without incident for whew, this place is uh oh right. Seemingly not the most uh safe of places. Alright. To find more found a clutch of heat leeches, uh reading in the utility section the other day. Not going to be able to get that image out of my head for a while. Sounds rather unpleasant. What do you mean there's no work? Yeah, do you have Broken any idea spear. how far we've traveled? 
how much money we spent to hitch a ride to this dusty red rock. We were told there were jobs. Hello, oh, citizen. Look, look, I get it. But we just filled our last openings. I think we have a couple contracts ending in the middle. Mission board. Mission board. Interesting. Okay. Destroy the Crimson Fleet ghost at Cheyenne. A known pirate ship has been reported in the Cheyenne system. Okay. 2600. Sure, sure. Give me that. Um, pirate roving in Dionysus. Might as well. Veyrune Zealot on Ganymede. Maybe not. Monofilament. Sure. Potential of life. We're looking for an experienced explorer to survey it. Uh, sure. Perfect. I don't know who Varun is. Last seen in the deserted mineral planet in Ganymede in the Sol system. I'll leave that one alone for now. This is bullshit. I mean, I've been um, we can't wait almost two months for a job that may not even exist then. How's the saying go? Show no mercy. I can do. No it's out of my hands. You can take it up with corporate. The Lux condos Sorry. aren't anything but special. I have to get back to work. Yeah. Watch out for the robots. Hello? Surprisingly welcome, welcome. Nice to meet you. Name's Trevor, mining director for the Deimos Mining Project here in scenic underground Sidonia. Okay. I could spare a minute or two to chat. So long as you're not looking for mining work, I suppose. Um. What's the deal with the detonation announcement and alarm? Oh, that! Oh, nothing to worry about. We have a Mars with subterranean particle detonations. Those announcements are just to let people know when to expect them. Now, you probably felt the rumble when the detonations actually go off. That's all it is. Not too bad, eh? Yeah. I'm I'm not particularly keen on the idea of particle detonations constantly happening around me or near me. Oh come on mate, it's perfectly safe. We're miles away, so all we get is a little jiggle now. That was more than a jiggle. Just make sure to hold the railing when going downstairs and you'll be fine. Yeah. I'm Assuming that the mining operation is not going so hot. Eh, not so bad for one of the oldest mines in the settled systems. We struggle with the lack of decent equipment, but we work hard and make up for it. As I'm sure you know, we're responsible for supplying resources to Deimos Star Yards, which in turn is responsible for supplying UC naval vessels. That, among other major projects, makes us one of the United Colony's most important mining operations. The prestige and pay mm -hmm. that comes with it almost makes up for being stationed at the arse end of the settled systems in the middle of nowhere. Just kind of still weird. I'm assuming you're like the head honcho around here. Yep, that's me. Joined up with Deimos when I was just 17 as a mining gopher. Go for this, go for that, you know how it is. I worked hard, proved myself capable, and got the promotion to mining director about six years ago after the old boss retired. Mm, congrats. Some of the older guys resent me, but I give everyone a lot of leeway as long as they meet their quotas. So that keeps them happy enough. Fair. Well, perfect. Do you think it'd be good for them to spend I mean, some time from home? I did mining work for Argos up until Come pretty on, recently. Mate. Let's hear it. Well, I'm guessing you don't have much work well, in the mining way, sector. What about other places? Argos, huh? Yeah, I've heard of them. That's great, but yeah. Unfortunately, all our mining contracts are filled right now. Unless 
Maybe you could help me out with a job. Off the books. Hmm. What are we talking about? Great! I promise it's nothing that'll get anyone in any kind of trouble. Seems unlikely. See, but. you might have noticed that our equipment ain't exactly holding together like it used to. Correct. Problem is, we can't get new equipment unless we start exceeding our quotas. And we can't do that until we get new equipment. A real dilemma, right? Yeah. I've got a plan for solving our little problem. Though. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. I think I'm I'm catching a little bit of the drift. Let's um uh, what are we talking? Okay. Glad you're still on board. First, I need someone from the outside to bolster our yields so we can prove that we can exceed our quota. I see. Okay. I'll fill okay. you in on the rest of the details after you've hauled up some more. One standard quota should do. I need to know I can trust you with the easy stuff first. Okay. Um, and you're not just using me as free labor, right? Of course not. I'll pay you out of my own pocket. All right. I care about my miners, even if corporate doesn't understand our struggles. Down I mean, that's fair. I, I do I'm get that impression. I'm willing to put in some sacrifices to help. That's just the kind of guy I am. If I had the credits to buy all the equipment myself, I would. But Noble. this is the next best thing. All right. I mean, it sounds more or less easy. I mean, you, oh, bureaucracy. And it doesn't land those credits in my pocket. So, let's get to it. When you've got enough, drop it off in the bin over there for processing. Then come see me. Sounds good. Always nice to kick back with a broken spear after a long day. Hey. You don't need to look at me like that. You said yourself. Everyone in Constellation has their own conscience. And my conscience just so happens to be directing me towards off the books, mildly illicit credits acquisition. 